Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis and welcome back to another DIY video here in the fish room. And uh, yeah, since I was already in the process of creating a couple of these uh, skim collection containers for some orders, I figured I'd go ahead and show you how to do it since I do offer a DIY option on the website. Now, before we get into the project, I'm just going to back up and kind of explain what the purpose of this is and uh, what's going on with this skimmer lid. So, about a year and a half ago, I went ahead and uh, created the CO2 scrubber, uh, I guess, bridging ring, if you want to call it that. It's basically a ring that sits on your skimmer, your lid collects, uh, connects to it, and you can basically recirculate the air within your uh, skimmer using your CO2 scrubber. And what this does is it drastically uh, cuts down on how much media you are consuming in your CO2 scrubber, um, and then also helps elevate the pH a little bit more than it normally would if it was just kind of exiting out to the air. So with that said, um, over the last, again, year and a half, there's been a little bit of an issue that has come up with these, and that is sometimes we have a lot of micro bubbles or just bubbles in general uh, in our skimmer cups and what happens is even though this is created to be as close to the lid as possible there's still a chance that you might start sucking in a little bit of those bubbles or uh, skimmate through the process of pulling the air and what happens is sometimes that goes down through the tube and it can go into your media or your reactor and kind of just sit there and it could stink or just ruin the media in general depending on how much gets in there so I went ahead and I created these barbs which uh, there's a few different sizes we have quarter inch, three eighths, and half inch. And what this does is it allows you to connect your CO2 scrubber or your skimmer, whatever way you wanna go with it. Personally, I would rather just connect the skimmer to here. That way, when you're pulling air out, what happens is the liquid actually falls through the bottom and collects at the bottom of the container as the air is being pulled back out to the, um, the uh, CO2 scrubber. So it's a very basic concept, but it works out pretty well. Now currently I only offer the slip slip kind of thing where you have to connect it yourself or again I can make it for you. I am debating on making one where you can screw a two liter bottle in so if you guys think that's cool let me know I'll, I'll get started on that. But either way they've been pretty effective I've had some good reviews on them already. Um, I had a local guy try it out just to see if it worked and it does and it works pretty good. And what happens is once your skimmate gets full if it ever does you can just pour it out good to go and you don't have to worry about getting anything in your uh, reactor itself. So. With that introduction out of the way, let's go ahead and start making one. It's a very simple concept. Um, again, you're gonna drill a hole through. I like to use one of these bits. Don't ask me what it's called, I don't remember. It's a, it's not the cheapest bit at Home Depot, but it's good because you get all the different sizes. If you guys remember the name of it, feel free to put it in the comment section. So we're just gonna go ahead and drill a hole through, and I made it where you can just glue this in place. I was thinking about having a screw on and all that kind of stuff, but I figured glue is a little bit more secure. You'll be able to kind of keep the air in there and all that kind of stuff. So. We'll go ahead and uh, get started with that. So again, pretty easy, simple concept. Gonna go ahead and just drill a hole through, uh, kind of in the middle, wherever you want it. And uh, just gonna start off slow. So I'm not really sure exactly how big the hole has to be. I guess I could measure it and go from there. All right, keep going. A little bit more. I really like this bit. I, again, I don't remember what it's called. So we're getting pretty close. Let's see what we got here. This should be it. Yep, good to go. So at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and take some glue, just standard gel super glue, which I should probably knock that top off there. So going to get that. All right. And then what I do is I'm just going to put a little bit on the edge here. Nothing too crazy. Again, this isn't the hardest DIY project I've ever created, but it does work. So put this on. I'm gonna put a little bit more glue on the inside. Set the base. All right, and then just slip your ring over. And if you have some instant set, you can use that. I know that I do. Or you can just have patience and wait for it to dry and go from there. So at this, at this point, it's pretty much ready to go. It's just going to be uh, screwed on and you're ready to set it up. So that's about it for this video. Uh, <laughs> again, it's not the hardest thing in the world, but I wanted to at least show you. So if you're interested in setting one of these up for yourself, you can just buy the bar of whatever size you have for your particular setup, and then you can use whatever container you want. Um, yeah, that's about it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or any recommendations or suggestions for 3D printed items, feel free to let me know in the comment section or send me an email at fishofhex at gmail.com, and I'll see you guys later. All right, peace.